Chant of compassion. May we surround all forms of life with infinite love and compassion. Especially do we send forth compassionate thoughts to those in suffering and sorrow, to those in doubt and ignorance, and to all who are striving to attain truth. We send forth all mercy, wisdom, and love. And may the infinite light of wisdom and compassion so shine within us that the errors and vanities of self may be dispelled. So shall we understand the changing nature of existence and awaken into spiritual peace. And Sister Menbao, would you lead us in the taking refuge? Uh, Gatha of Atonement, please. Absolutely. Everybody can mute, but repeat after me. All evil karma ever committed. All evil, All evil karma ever committed. On account of my beginningless greed, anger, and ignorance. On account of my beginningless greed, anger, and ignorance. Born of my body, mouth, and thought, now I atone for all. Born of my body, mouth, and thought. All evil karma ever committed. On account of my beginningless greed, anger, and ignorance. Born of my body, mouth, and thought, I now atone for all. All evil karma ever committed. On account of my beginningless greed, anger, and ignorance. Born in my body, mouth, and thought, I now atone for it all. And now I'd like you to also join with me in the Tisarana. You're going to repeat after me again. We're going to do this three times as well. Budam Saranam Gachami. Budam Saranam Gachami. Damam Saranam Gachami. Damam Saranam Gachami. Sangam Saranam Gachami. Sangam Saranam Gachami. Budam Saranam Gachami. Budam Saranam Gachami. Daman Saranam Gachami. Aram Saranam Gachami. Sangam Saranam Gachami. Sangam Saranam Gachami. Uram Saranam Gachami. Uram Saranam Gachami. Damam Saranam Gachami. Arman Saranam Gachami. Sangam Saranam Gachami. Sangam Saranam Gachami. Now we are at the point of taking refuge. So here we go. Everybody repeat after me, and we're going to do this also three times. I take refuge in Buddha. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Dharma. 
I take refuge in Sangha. I take refuge in Sangha. I take refuge in Buddha. I take, I take refuge in Buddha. I take refuge in Dharma. I take refuge in Dharma. I take refuge in Sangha. I take refuge in Sangha. I take refuge in Buddha. I take refuge in Buddha. I take refuge in Dharma. I take refuge in Dharma. I take refuge in Sangha. I take refuge in Sangha. And now I pass it on to Thich Nhat Hanh. Sangha, just repeat after me. Being one with the Buddhas in the ten directions. Being one with the Buddhas in the ten directions. Being one with the Dharma in the ten directions. Being one with the Dharma in the ten directions. Being one with the Sangha in the ten directions. Being one with the Sangha in the ten directions. Venerable Miles, do you have the, is it on? Do you have the ceremony? You're muted, sir. Blindness, I can't find. Did you send me a newer uh, a version of the ceremony? Uh, uh, there it is, right there on the thing. Can you? Are you able to read that? Let me see. Let me blow it up. I'll have to. It's pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, Scott, uh, for doing that, or whoever's making it so I can see the size of the lettering. Uh, uh, so, you want me to go ahead and begin. So, uh, may they all be present here as witnesses. The great precept of all the Buddhas have been maintained and pr protected by all the Buddhas. Buddhas hand them down to Buddhas and the ancestral teachers hand them down to ancestral teachers. Acceptance and observance of the precepts transcends the past, present, and future and form a perfect accord within the realization between teacher and student, continuing through all ages. Our great leader, Shakyamuni Buddha, import, imparted on to Makishyapa, and Makishyapa transmitted them to Ananda, ready, Already the precepts have passed through many generations in direct succession, reaching down to teachers that we hear today. And, and uh, now Sangha, we will, oops, sorry. Am I on? Yeah, there we go. And now Sangha, we will now asperge with water. And I would like all of those who are taking refuge today to simply put your hand over your heart. And the aspersion goes with the water that I have here and a small plant or piece of fern. And the first blessing that I give is to all who are taking refuge today and receiving their Buddha's name and bow. And now to the whole Sangha. Today on the day of taking refuge, we celebrate with fellow Sangha members in joining this Buddhist community for support, for refuge. May all blessings be upon this entire Sangha. 
And finally, I sprinkle water for the entire Buddhist community throughout the world that they recognize this wonderful gift that we have and that we continue to support it and support those seeking a refuge from suffering. My dear ones, we have two guests here today. We have uh, my dear friend, Venerable Lama Kimpo Karten Rinpoche. And Rinpoche means precious one. It's a Tibetan title. And I don't know if any of you have ever received an email from me, but I always started out as dear one, which is a takeoff from the concept of precious one for our Tibetan brothers. We also have the most venerable Tit Trong Si, who is the teacher. Could we have a, a different thing, please? Can we have a tile so we can see everything? Thank you. We also have the very venerable Tit Trong Si Fap, oh, Fap Nan's computer side there, who is a dear, dear friend of many, many years who I first met at the uh, uh, pavilion up in Seattle. He has his doctorate in Buddhist studies. He's got the college here in the US and help us all. He is Faptan's teacher. And I'm sure he must be scheduled to be a saint to take on Faptan. At least that's my thought. So first of all, I've asked both of these teachers to come and give us just a very short five minute blessing or talk. My understanding is that Venerable Tik Tong Si is going to be talking to us about the Buddhist names. And for everyone taking refuge in this group and a few that have missed it, he has come up with a Buddhist name for you all. And he's going to tell us what that's about. But first we'll start with our dear friend, Kimpo Karten Rinpoche, who will give us his blessing for taking refuge. And Kimpo Karten Rinpoche is part of our greater Sangha and has done retreats here. And Venerable Tet Trung Si has been here also uh, before. So uh, Kimpo Karten Rinpoche, could you lead us with either a chant or a blessing or something? Please, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you so much, uh, my dear friend. Can you hear me? Yes. OK. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, my dear Dharma brother. Uh, I call Lama Kosi. Um, I really, really happy to be here. First, I want to say my greeting for all your sanghas. My friend, can you speak louder? Can you hear me? That's much no? better. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. So sorry. Okay. Maybe I'm going to change a little bit here. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. First, I want to say thank you so much to invite me uh, here with you, uh, Lama Kozinla, my Dharma brother. I am very happy to be here with you always. Um, I want to greet you for all your sanghas, your community, your Dharma brothers, your students. Um, I want to say first, Trashi Delek, and congratulations. Uh, my Dharma brother, Lama Kozin, called me yesterday. Today, we, you have the refuge ceremony. I am very, very, very happy. I am so happy to be here. I am so happy because I know what is the refugee's meaning. Since I was 11 years old, I took refuge in Buddha Dharma with my Rupunguru, Japja Sanjit Enzi Rumbuchi, in Tibet. Um, I understand this. This is just like the key. When you go to the end, you know, somebody's house, you have the key. This is very important. Then today I want to pray a little bit, Tibetans, Buddha Dharma Sangha, okay? Take refuge the Buddha Dharma Sangha. Sanjin Jidan Sojin Chonan Lai 
sancı bardı danı cesinci da gece soci bütün oncu dolay pinsan sancı de baş sancı acı dan sancı canla sancı bardı danı cesinci da gece soci bütün Dola pinsur sancın rubay şu sancı cü dam sucun cumala sancı pardı dan ejasın da gece sucu besun ancı dola pinsur sancın rubay şu Namun guru be namun budaya namo dharmaya namo sangaya Namun guru be namun budaya namo dharmaya namo sangaya Namun guru be namun budaya namo dharmaya namo sangaya Budam şarına karçaymi Darmam şarına karçaymi Sangam şarına karçaymi Lama tüm bacım dinde tüccinci bardacım bayan da bazı bu sancı bir cevaşa geldi balaysan salon çatıca sancı. Lama tüm bacım dinde tüccinci bardacım bayan da bazı bu sancı bir cevaşa geldi balaysan salon çatıca sancı. Lama tüm bacım dinde tüccinci bardacım bayan da bazı bu sancı. Bir cevaş yakadı balaysan salon çudu cesuncu Tüm balami sancırın bu cici balami damcırın bu cici Tüm balami gündürün bu cici Cemne koncuzum cerrahi şu Da son kurci tiratam cidi koncuzum bu nayamın reşi Koncuzum bu cündün cübay Konçosun cesilan cubay şu. Thank you. Your Rinpoche, thank you. Thank you so much. And for all the Sangha, these are blessings and he chanted the Mudam Saranam Gachami also again. Blessings for our Sangha, for all who would enter the, the gates of the Dharma, the Buddha and the Sangha. Rinpoche, thank you. Anything You're else welcome. you want to tell us? Thank you so much. No, that's it. Thank you very much, my friend. All right, so really. Rinpoche, I need, I need from your student to send me a list how we can connect uh, to your newsletter so we can attend your talks also. Would you have your students send me that link and I'll put it in our newsletter. Yeah, did you get my newsletter from your email? I, I will, did. Okay, I will send to you here and I think, I will send to you through the email. Okay, my website, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, Tashi Dele is the Tibetan greeting and goodbye. Tashi Dele. <laughs> Tashi Dele, thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you, my friend, for your blessing and your time. And he has not been well, so he's been just a short talk this time, but he will be talking with us the third Saturday of the month for the next seven months. Just a short Dharma talk each time. So thank you, Kempo Karton Rinpoche. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you.
Thank you, my friend. Now, Venerable Trung Si, who is a, a Dharma master and is going to give us a talk, I think, about the names. He's chosen everyone's name who's taking refuge. And he's been consulting with Sai Faktan to come up the best name for everyone who's taking refuge at this time. Yeah, uh, uh, but uh, around 21st, uh, 21 name for you, and in Vietnamese and English, the name in Vietnamese and English, uh, I already sent uh, to uh, Thầy Cousin already. Uh, if you want to uh, collect your name in Vietnamese and English, near future, and you can use in Vietnamese and English all the time, uh, uh, you have Vietnamese and you can uh, use your name in your whole life from now until your whole life. I have the Vietnamese Buddhist name. Thank, Thank you, you, Thai. <laughs> Thank you, Thai. Most wonderful. Initiates who have just taken the um, refuge and gotten your names, please repeat after me. Now receiving the great precepts. Now receiving the great precepts. I vow to require my deep obligation. I vow to require my dear obligation. To the Buddhas and ancestral teachers. To the Buddhas and ancestral teachers. I pledge to establish these precepts. I pledge to establish these precepts within my life as the possibility of liberation for all beings. Within my life as the possibility of liberation for all beings. All right. Everyone would, uh, we will now say the three pure precepts. If you can repeat after me. I vow to keep all the precepts. I vow to practice all the Dharma. I vow to save the many beings. Can you hear me? Yes, Ty. All right. According to Buddhism, for a person to be perfect, there are two qualities that they should develop equally. Compassion, which is karuna, on one side, and wisdom panna on the other. Here, compassion represents love, charity, kindness, tolerance, and such noble qualities on the emotional side are qualities of the heart. While wisdom would stand for the intellectual side or the qualities of the mind, we're now going to commit to the noble eightfold path. And uh, Tai Z, you'll take it from there, please, if you would. Thank you, Tai. So we will now commit to the Noble Eightfold Path. The very first one, right speech, means abstention from telling lies, from backbiting and slander, and talk that may bring about hatred, enmity, disparity, and disharmony among individuals or groups of people, from harsh, rude, impolite, malicious, and abusive language, and from idle, useless, and foolish babble and gossip. The second noble truth, right action. Right action aims at promoting moral, honorable, and peaceful conduct. It admonishes us that we should abstain from destroying life, from stealing, from dishonest dealings, from illegitimate and sexual intercourse, and that we should also help others to lead a peaceful and honorable life in the right way. The third noble truth, right livelihood. Right livelihood means that one should abstain from making one's living through a profession that brings harm to others, such as trading in arms and lethal weapons intoxicating drinks or poisons, killing animals, cheating, and things like that. 
and should live by a profession which is honorable and blameless and innocent of harm to others. And the fourth noble truth, right effort. Right effort is the energetic will to prevent evil and unwholesome states of mind from arising and to get rid of such evil and unwholesomeness states that have already arisen within a man and also to produce to cause to arise good and wholesome states of mind not yet arisen and to develop and bring to perfection the good and wholesome states of mind already present in a man, right mindfulness. Scott, would you put up the list for five through eight so that uh, so I can read them? <laughs> I, yeah, I apologize. For... Uh, so you've got right mindfulness on there, but no script. Oh, okay. Right mindfulness is to be diligently aware, mindful and attentive with regard to the activities of the body, the sensation feelings, the activities of the mind, and the ideas, thoughts, concepts, and things, the Dharma. Right concentration. The third and last factor of mental discipline is the right concentration leading to the four stages of jhana or meditation. Right thought. Right thought denotes the thoughts of selflessness, renunciation, or detachment, thoughts of love, thoughts of nonviolence, which are extended to all beings. Right understanding. Right understanding is the understanding that all things as they are and the Four Noble Truths that explain things as they really are. There are 10 cardinal precepts that students from our temple and this Sangha are asked to commit to. Kindly repeat after me. One, I will recognize that I am not separate, separate from all that is. I am not separate from all that is. This is the practice of non-killing. This, this is the practice of non-killing. I will not lead a harmful life, nor encourage others to do so. I will not lead a harmful life, or encourage others to do so. I will live in harmony with all life and the environment that sustains it. Two, I will be satisfied with what I have. I will be satisfied with what I have. This is the practice of non stealing. This is the practice of non stealing. I will not take anything not given and not encourage others to steal. I will not take anything not given. I will freely give, ask for, and accept what is needed. Three. I will meet the diversity of life with respect and dignity. The diversity of life. This is the practice of chaste conduct. I will not create conditions for others to be unchaste. I will not create conditions for others to be unchaste. I will give and accept love and friendship without clinging. I will give and accept love and friendship without clinging. The fourth, I will listen and speak from the heart. 
I will listen and speak from the heart. This is the practice of non-lying. This is the practice of non-lying. I will not create conditions for others to lie. I will not create conditions for others to lie. I will see and act in accordance with what is. My responders may, may be uh, frozen again. <laughs> Five. Fabtan, can you be a responder? Yes, Ty. Thank you. I will cultivate a mind that sees clearly. I will cultivate a mind that sees clearly. This is the practice of not being deluded. This is the practice of not being deluded. I will not encourage others to be deluded. I will not encourage others to be deluded. I will embrace all experience directly. I will embrace all experience directly. Saif Abtad, would you carry on from here and pick someone to be the respondent? Yes, I of course. Uh, let's see. I only see you and uh, Tai Z on my screen. <laughs> One second. Uh, scroll down. What I have. Ah, Sarimi Min Bao. Would you be so willing as to be our respondent, please? Thank yes, you. Yes, I will. Precept number six. I will bear witness to the offering of each moment. I will bear witness to the offering of each moment. This is the practice of not talking about others' errors and faults. This is the practice of not talking about others' errors and faults. I will encourage others to talk about others' errors. I will not encourage others to talk about others' errors and faults. I will not encourage others to talk about others' errors and faults. I will acknowledge responsibility for everything in my life. I will acknowledge responsibility for everything in my life. Precept seven. I will speak what I perceive to be truth. This is, sorry, a little bit more. <laughs> this is the practice of not elevating myself and blaming others. I will speak what I perceive to be truth. This is the practice of not elevating myself and blaming others. I will not encourage others to elevate themselves and blame others. I will not encourage others to elevate themselves and blame others. I will give my best effort and accept the results. I will give my best effort and accept the results. Precept eight. I will use all the ingredients of my life. I will use all the ingredients of my life. This is the practice of not being stingy. This is the practice of not being stingy. I will not foster a mind of poverty in myself or others. I will not foster a mind of poverty in myself or others. Precept nine. I will bear witness to emotions that arise. I will bear witness to emotions that arise. This is the practice of not holding on to anger. This is the practice of not holding on to anger. I will not create conditions for others to be angry. I will not create conditions for others to be angry. I will not harbor resentment, rage, or revenge. I will practice with emotions. I will not harbor resentment, rage, or revenge. I will practice with emotions. The 10th and final precept. I will not create conditions for others to disparage the three treasures. I will not create conditions for others to disparage the three treasures.
We'll now recite the four great Bodhisattva vows. In Zen, Nichiren, Tendai, and the other Mahayana schools of Buddhism, there are four Bodhisattva vows. In this in his book, Taking the Path of Zen, Robert Aiken Rochi wrote, I have heard people say I cannot recite these vows because I cannot hope to fulfill them. Actually, Avala Kitishavara, in the incarnation of mercy and compassion, weeps because she cannot save all beings. Nobody fills these great vows for all, but we all vow to fulfill them as best we can. This is our practice. A bodhisattva is a person who is on the path towards Buddhahood. In this ceremony, all of the vow takers are entering the path of the bodhisattva. <clears throat> Repeat after me. Beings are numberless. I vow to save them all. Beings are numberless. I vow to save them all. Desires are inexhaustible. I vow to end them Desires are inexhaustible, I vow to end them. Dharma gates are boundless, I vow to enter them. Dharma gates are boundless, I vow to enter them. The Buddha's way is unsurpassable, I vow to become it. Buddha's way is unsurpassable, I vow to become it. So Sangha brothers and sisters, and those who have taken refuge today, congratulations on taking part in this wonderful ceremony. This, this completion of your studies, and, and though your studies are never totally complete, um, you have come a long way in beginning to understand this wonderful philosophy and path that was given to us by the Buddha. When I, when I teach in locations where there are people of many faiths, we all can come to recognize very easily that all the teachers, all the great Buddhas of the world, Jesus, Mohammed, Moses, all of them, all had the same elements to the basis of what they were practicing. Yes, the ceremonies are different. Yes, maybe some of the words and some of the chants are different, but the underlying path that we have all vowed here today to follow is one that will benefit the world and benefit each one of us. If we can remember the Noble Eightfold Path, if we can remember the Four Noble Truths in each and every moment and action of our life, we will definitely recognize so purely and so clearly that things are better for us and they are better for others. This is the path of the Bodhisattva. This is the path of taking refuge that you have, have committed to today. I congratulate you and I, I celebrate with you all on this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. My dear ones, Tai Kozen here. This is it, we did it. So the journey here is don't believe Tai Z, certainly don't believe Venerable Miles or me. Go make it real for yourself. Make it real for yourself. Make it real for yourself. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the first footstep. And everyone in this room has taken a big step forward. Please go find the Buddhist Dharma in everything. Be a an emissary of light and compassion and loving kindness. Let it burn from, from your heart and light up the whole world around you. That's what we do. I'd like to say something too that Kozen reminded me of, and that is, you know, people like Kozen and, and myself have been on this path a very long time and we screw up a lot, right? We make mistakes. We step on our we step on our own tails and we stick our feet in our mouths and we say things we shouldn't say because for a moment we just lit you know we're just talking and this is part of the path this is the thing that we we do and and as a as a sangha we recognize this in everyone and we should always allow ourselves and our fellow sangha members to make mistakes because they're climbing the same ladder we are. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know? And so keep in mind that this is a very difficult path. And even 40 plus years of being on this path, I'm still taking my foot out of my mouth and, and tripping over my robes. So <laughs> remember, it, it's hard, but we always get up and move on. So my dear ones, any other comments, concerns, questions? So you should have your new name. Oh, Aptan, yes. I just, uh, two things. I wanna say congratulations to everyone. This is such a wonderful step that a lot of you are taking and this is just absolutely wonderful. I'm proud of everyone. And I also wanted to, to comment if anyone um, did not receive a Buddhist name and you wish to, uh, to receive one, if we somehow overlooked any of the registered uh, people, um, just put your name in the chat and we will get that all fixed up. Thank you all so much. This is Sada Neiman Bell. I just wanna say, it, this was such an honor to do this with you. Um, when I did it before for myself, I was also in the process of becoming a um, novice nun and I was very nervous and breaking my toe and bringing on a tornado. And so that day is sort of a blur in my mind. So being able to do this with you again um, is just so beautiful. I also feel the same way that Dave feels, sort of light and, and, and just joyful. So just congratulations to all of you. And I really am enjoying going on this journey with you. I, I do want to comment that when Sayini Menbao did take her vow, she did indeed break her toe. And there was a mini tornado that ripped off part of our roof. It was as if the gods themselves were saying, hold on to your hat, here she comes. <laughs> Molly <laughs> Brown, <laughs> Molly Brown. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a wonderful story about a Zen master who had a student, and the student did something to upset the Zen master. So the Zen master had the place where the student sat removed, and the earth dug out six feet below, straight down, to say where this person sit is no more ever. And so the journey of that is let's not find our seats removed and our place to sit dug down six feet and no more.